Hello YouTube, this is TechSpot1 with you. Um, today is January 27th, 2010. Um, today Apple released their iPad. Uh, it's basically a giant iPod Touch. People have been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, so here it is. Um, the iPod has basically everything the iPod Touch does, or the iPhone. It's got um, the internet, you know, your iPod. Um, so, uh, Steve Jobs described this as the internet in the palm of your hands. Um, I think it's a bit too big to be in the palm of your hands, but it's still really cool. Uh, it's quite thin. Um, they do. They also came out with a new uh, iTunes type store. There's, it's got the iTunes store, the App Store, and now something called iBooks. I'll show you that in just a sec. The iBook store is basically uh, just a store with a bunch of digital books you can buy. Um, it shows up like it is right here. Um, it's like virtual bookshelf with the front cover of all your books that you can get. Um, there's also the store. I'm not sure on the prices of the books, but I don't think they cost too much. I mean, it looks pretty good. I don't know. Uh, so it starts at $500 for the iPad. It seems a bit expensive for an e-reader, but it's much more than that with everything else. Um, I think you can also get newspapers and magazines and a bunch of other things on the iBook store. Um, the iPad has pretty much the same applications as uh, the iPhone and iPod Touch. The home screen looks pretty similar, except um, you can get a background rather than just the black. And also the bottom, I guess you call them the main applications, uh, that's a bit different. I'm expecting quite a bit from this iPad. Apple should be able to do it well. They always do. So I'll just go over the prices right now. Uh, the Wi-Fi version of the iPad will start at $500, $499, and that will be 16 gigabytes. The 3G version will start at $630, and that about wraps it up. So enjoy.